Can the world remain a passive spectator as the threat to commercial shipping escalates in the Middle East? The answer may not be as simple as it seems. In the heart of this turmoil are Yemen's Iran-backed Houthis, a group that has been intensifying its attacks against Israel, the United States, and their allies. Since the 7th of October this year, the Houthis have been on a recruitment spree enlisting thousands, including child soldiers, into their ranks. Their strategy is clear. Any nation that joins the International Maritime Coalition led by the United States aimed at protecting Red Sea trade becomes a target. Interestingly, this coalition has been joined by several nations, but notable absentees include Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and the United Arab Emirates. The Houthis, in their relentless campaign, have not only attacked Israeli-linked ships, but have also fired missiles and drones at Israel itself. The role of Iran in this scenario is crucial yet controversial. On one hand, Iran claims to be a vital player in ensuring maritime security and trade. On the other hand, the United States accuses Iran of being deeply involved in the operations of the Houthis. It's worth noting that the Houthis are not a standalone entity. They are but one of several Iran-backed militant groups in the Middle East and have been at war with Saudi Arabia since 2015. Iran also supports Hamas and Hezbollah, both of which have ties to the Houthis. Iran's current war strategy involves using these proxy forces to target Israel, Israeli assets, and U.S. military installations. So, where does this leave us? The threat to commercial shipping is real and escalating. The international community must take decisive action to ensure the safety of global trade routes. The question is, who will take the lead? In the face of growing instability, this is a call to action for policymakers, leaders, and citizens alike. Consider the implications of these escalating tensions. Think about the necessary steps to mitigate them. And remember, the safety and stability of global trade routes are not just the responsibility of a single nation, but a collective obligation of the international community. Act wisely, for the stakes have never been higher.